of course you look at the patient first and you uh, if this is a 22 uh, year old lady who is slim and has a family history we know what the problem is we go mm. for bnpr2 mutation mm. and we or we we look at alk1 or we look at um, at other genes that have been found mm. and if the patient is coming from north africa we think of veno occlusive disease mm. so uh, there why is africa and veno occlusive disease because there is a, there seems to be a clone in northern africa that that has uh, uh, the EIFKL4 mutation, which causes venoclusive disease. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, and if somebody comes from Egypt, we think of, of course, of schistosomiasis. Mm -hmm. And if somebody comes from India, we think of uh, of the endemic diseases there. You know, mm -hmm. we 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 think of uh, um, echinococcosis. We think of familial Mediterranean fever. Anything that that comes from the from the far Middle East. Mm -hmm. So. Everything has to be screened, but you know, you look at the patient first, you look at the history, and you, you go for the likely diagnosis. Mm -hmm. But you always screen for scleroderma, you always do a right heart cath, you always do a CT scan, and you always, I always do a pulmonary angiography. Mm -hmm. You should do a VQ scan at the, mi at the minimum. Ventilation mm -hmm. perfusion centigram, that's the minimum. Let's hear to what one of our co-workers says and how we use BNP in following up these patients. The role of the anti-proBNP in the diagnosis of pulmonary hypertension is really important. There are many clinical studies showing this importance of the anti-proBNP. So every patient who's coming here is getting this laboratory testing done. So we observed it also in the follow-up and we see how the patients are doing. How is the right ventricle doing from these patients? whether they are decompensated or not. Especially the changes in the BNP gives you information about how the patients are doing. And this is, of course, a real good prognostic factor for the follow-up. So there is a lot of data showing that patients with a low BNP and constantly having low BNP are having a better um, survival than patients with constantly higher BNP.